I could literally cry. <laughs> I could literally cry with happiness. He's got bubble tea, that looks nice. Oh, bubble tea. Where does he get that bubble tea from? <laughs> <laughs> basically decided because you just started at the gym and you wanted to go at eight which you need the ideal time unless you don't go <laughs> <laughs> I decided that if I didn't go at 6 a.m. because we've got that talk to you at 12 and I just wouldn't go in this evening and I want to so I woke up and I was like why is it so quiet why is where's Rio basically I normally hear Rio first so I normally do the first bit and then but he woke up just up. takes over then and I go to the gym but I've changed the whole schedule today it's very confusing for me, I must say. God, how do you do it? You must be exhausted. No, babe, stop affirming that I'm exhausted. That was I think I'm exhausted. I'm not exhausted, I'm fine. <laughs> you're not, not. You're not. You're exhausted. <laughs> I'm not. Exhausted. You must be. <laughs> you know, we've I got, feel tired. I've just woken up at seven. We've got six weeks until the baby, and I want to be ripped. So they don't know on here that I'm on my little bit of fit of a fitness journey. <laughs> who doesn't know? They. It was obvious you've got a six pack and massive muscles. If they don't know you're on a fitness journey, then something's going on. <laughs> Look at the state of me. Do I we watch Molly? I watch Molly May's video, and she just looks absolutely perfect the whole way so through. So Stuart has this whole thing that he has to, everything. <laughs> if there's a cupboard open, if there's anything like everything has to appear perfect at no, all times. No. You do, you do, no. you do care. I just watch her who like. Having massages and having facials, I was like, oh, I'd like that. Like, <laughs> I need to book in a massage and a facial ASA. <laughs> oh. oh, there he is. There he's up. He basically, first thing he's done, every time he wakes up in the morning now, he's like, Ow! Oh no! This duvet, he's holding his duvet again. Oh no! Oh no, disaster! What have you got there? <laughs> your flag. You got your flag? Oh, you've got your fireman's hat. When you become a parent, like... <coughs> I had no idea about the influence that oh, I could have yeah. on Rio. And I say I, me and Stuart. The things he does, just... I'm like, oh my god, I do that. He loves flags. <laughs> I loved flags as a child. He loves aeroplanes, like he's really into aeroplanes. I, I mean, I probably have helped him love aeroplanes. I mean, we travel a lot and I love aeroplanes. I watch videos on aeroplanes all the time on YouTube. Now he does. He likes dancing. <laughs> like, I had no idea the, the impact that we would have on him. I just... <sighs> It makes you realise, wow, you've got to be so conscious as a parent, like, to, to make good choices as well, because they, they watch everything. I'm starting to regret waking up at 6 a.m. this morning, because I'm falling as <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit tired. So what have we done so far? We have cleaned the kitchen. So I've got this big thing about, basically, having a clean kitchen after he's eaten. I just can't stand when you leave the mess. So I've clean the kitchen, shirts at the gym, and then normally, because I go to the gym first, they always like give like give me a big welcome when I come. You love the fireman's hat? Try and put it on again. Oh, he's a fireman. So cute. But yeah, they always give me like a big welcome when I come home, so we're gonna give Dada a big welcome when he comes home. Let's check where he is. We've got to find a friend, so. Oh, he's almost home, quick! Let's get that, that is almost home. Let's go open the gate. Okay, okay. Dolly gets very, she's very, anyone that arriving at the door, it's a bit of a trick for you, isn't it? Where is he? There he comes. Oh, 
I'm Johnny. Do you, know, do you know something? So yesterday in your TikTok, you said to me, oh, well, you said to the whole world, oh God, they're obsessed with me. Why are they doing <laughs> this? Like moaning about it. And I, as I was coming through the gates, nothing makes me feel more loved than the gates being opened before I arrive. That uh, makes me feel like it makes it does make it makes me feel so loved. It does make me feel really loved. But sometimes I just think to myself, um, I thought you might have like gone and done something, I and mean, you you sat there waiting for me. It's useful, but oh, I won't do it for now. no, 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 no. It was a joke. It was a joke. But obviously, in your head, there's something. No, there's... no. But sometimes I think, oh my goodness. It's so nice to bait me, but I would have thought, oh, they might have like gone to the park or something. Or oh, no, I'd much have uh, The gates were open here, celebrating me of my arrival. Oh, oh you're no, joking! You've broken your flag. So we are heading. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm wearing. Do, 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 do. We're in a rush, so we're gonna have to literally dash now. <laughs> well done. I love your outfit, Rio. Ow. Show everybody on YouTube your outfit. Lovely. Oh, love it. Very nice. Ow. Ow. <laughs> the cheese. Rio, in, in, in. Come on. Come on. We are walking to do a talk in our offices yeah. and I thought you could take him to this farm that I googled. A farm. This is the reality of, of life as a parent. Obviously we left minutes, <laughs> we were like minutes to go before we need to do this talk. Let me just tell you what we're doing. We're doing a talk for um, an agency who want to know about pride. It's for pride, isn't it? Yeah. And we're, we're just, just sharing we're our just story. talking all things gay. All things gay. How, how to be gay. <laughs> How to be gay online. <laughs> but literally just met my mum, shoved over with Rio. She's given me her suitcase because she's coming to stay with us. She does two days a week with us basically. Tuesday, Wednesday, or sometimes Wednesday, Thursday, depending on the week. So we've got I've got her stuff. And now we're like dashing through this no. talk. I've sent Rio and Mum to a farm. Can you believe there's a farm in, in London? It's called Spitalsfields Farm. I found it on a website, just Google what to do with young kids in this part of London came up and it's free and apparently they've got donkeys and sheep and pigs so he's gonna do that anyway I'm gonna focus on getting there you know, on time right, mate, yeah. let's go bye for most people they get scared of public speaking but for me and Francis we just love it so much yeah. 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 <laughs> I literally said a few things and I went sure <laughs> <laughs> that's the best thing is we've got each other all yeah, the time it's so nice We've been together for like 13 years. We Our first date was in Pizza Express. <laughs> and I feel like with our relationship, I feel like a lot of our straight friends look up to us in terms of our relationship because we've got the best relationship ever. We do bicker since having a baby, of course, we bicker more than ever. <laughs> but we actually are really strong. I think it's really unique, I think, in the gay world, especially to have, you know, a relationship that is so solid, which I'm really actually quite proud of. We've just arrived at Westfield because we always park here um, and we're going to go home and I, Francis was like, oh, I'm going to quickly change Rio's nappy and I was like, whilst you're doing that, I'm going to quickly pop to mamas and papas because I want to see if I can find a going home outfit for the baby girl. So I'm going to quickly pop there now. I'll show you what they've got, if they've got anything. But usually mamas and papas are really good. They've got some really lovely stuff. Fingers crossed I can find something. Just need like a little onesie and a little hat for her to go home in. Something super cute and special. They have got so many. Oh, can't wait for all the frills. So many nice things in here. Just trying to find, like, I love that. What size is that? Maybe something like this? Didn't see anything in there that I was like, that is exactly the one I want. So I'm going to quickly pop to next. Just on the off chance they've got anything, fingers crossed. I love this. 
very thick though. It's quite thick, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna head back to Francis now. I didn't see anything in next. I did like that little um, onesie, but I'm not sure if I need a full onesie. I think I'm thinking too much about it because obviously when with Rio we just had the uh, a plain little onesie from Next. It was absolutely gorgeous, but I feel like I really want to give her something special to come home in because those are the things you you know kind of keep and remember. I'm going to keep looking to try and find the perfect girly, neutral, beautiful onesie and hat. If you've got any ideas, please let me know in the comments of like maybe put some links in the comments of things that maybe you bought because I'd love to see what you a girl is brought home in. Just something pretty and nice. So if you've got any ideas, let me know in the comments. Oh my gosh, Ribena, sugar-free Ribena. What? You lucky boy. I bet you love it. Just get an action shot of you packing up the like car. Airport dad mode. Airport dad mode. Got to go home, he's not had a nap, he's tired, having a nap at a totally wrong time, but don't worry, I can cope. <laughs> not about him cope, it's about me. Hello, Hello, darling. You've got to make a fuss oh. of her. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Dolly. Say Dolly. Oh, say hello, Dolly. What have you had in the car to keep you happy? Chocolate. A parcel for me from H&M. Very excited to show you all. I've been shopping for the baby girl. H&M, what did I buy for H&M? I think it's real Riley now. Oh! I'll show you. Oh! Oh gosh! Crochet. Little knickers. Oh! Oh my god! It's just hoping that September is going to be warm. Yeah. September is usually warm though, isn't it? Oh my god! I just can't. So exciting. This is one to two months. This looks oversized though. Little qua a little croissant. Something else that's arrived. So I've ordered this book called We're Having a Baby. I've just opened it and it's a beautiful book, lovely designed, but it's so traditional family focused that... Oh Francis, you haven't even read it yet. I have. You read it in that split second? Well, it's just really traditional for family focus. Look, um, mummy's tummy, mummy's had a baby. You know, it's just very... Yeah, so I mean... Of course, there's no book that's written for us because it's it's we're still so new. I'm not. I don't have any problem with it. I wonder if we can we can just cut that. To Carly's tummy Carly's is very big. Yeah, just do that. She's going to have our Best baby. Oh, it's actually really. I actually think this is a really great book. We're having a baby. Just changing the the narrative a little bit from mummy to Carly, but I think that's absolutely beautiful. And I just love the way because Ria will love that. All the, the different flaps and the fact that the car goes like this. I love it. We've got this on Amazon, did we? Yeah. We'll put the link below. And I'll put the link to these two outfits as well. Can you even cope? You're going to be like, this is a little dress. Oh, I'll be like, but this, hi guys. This is our baby. Oh my god, I would like to have a little heart, heart palpitations. I'm like, not, I don't feel teary, but heart like going, oh my god. Oh, also had a great day, just in case we, I don't know if we'd spoke about the meeting, but the meeting went really well. Me and Francis just absolutely love public speaking. If there's one thing that me and Francis love, and I love doing it with you, Francis. Because yeah. if I was doing that by myself, that would be quite daunting. Yeah. But doing it with you, I know that if I run out of a conversation, I know that I can come and speak to you and then you can take over. Yes. I feel like together we are so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carly's tummy is very big. She is going to have a baby. Rhea is going to be a big brother. That's you. You are going to be the best big brother. How do you hold a baby? How do you hold a baby? How do you hold a baby? Who's going to be the best big brother? Me! Good boy. Good boy. You are gonna be the best. Baby. I, I play. Welcome back. Welcome back to day two. I've actually shout oh. Rio's actually very tired, is about to go to bed. 
aren't you? We've had the morning together. Omar has brought round a little baby for Rio to get practicing on for being a big brother. And <laughs> she's teaching him how to be the best big brother. That is one thing you are absolutely amazing at, though. Is... Oh, oh, wow. Oh, a nice baby. Shall oh, we kiss wow. the baby? Oh. Wow. She... Oh, oh, Rio. Kiss my baby. Oh. Here's Rio's baby. Shall we put the baby back? Say night night. Shall we put the baby? Oh, back on. Say night night, baby. Oh. Daddy picks up the baby very carefully, oh. holding the back of his head. <laughs> baby. Is it a good baby kiss? Baby kiss? kiss? No, you don't grab baby kiss. Yeah. Oh, yeah. such yeah. a good boy. Give, it, give her a kiss. Good to be back. Good to be back. Good She's very night tired. Night. He's tiny. I think she, he will get used to something in the car. Yeah, 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 that's a idea. Mum is so smart. You are you so... You always think through processes and I think because you've obviously worked with kids yes, and young yeah. adults with special needs as well, you just understand the better yeah, thing. Yeah. In a way it's that just that for children you need to prepare them because otherwise suddenly you bring a baby home and now you can sort of... Yeah. There is something in the car. You just loves his cars, don't you, Rio? Yes, don't we? Omar slept round last night, which was, which, ha which happens once a week. She comes, looks after Rio, and then sleeps the night, and then looks after him the day after as well. So that's what she did last night. Um, and it just means that the morning that she sleeps over, I actually get to wash, like have a shower, and get dressed with no Rio. <laughs> which I just love. It feels like such a luxury to have a shower and get ready and do your moisturizer and do your hair all without anyone there so that's just so divine um today we're actually on a little trip we're going me and francis are going into town going to first of all going to meta and then second going to a tiktok gay pride event so i'm in my let me show you what i'm wearing i've gone for a bit more of a like not a, as loud as i usually do just a white shirt these like khaki trousers and then my Gucci's and these Gucci's actually kill my feet. Every time I wear them, I, I literally go, oh, my feet. But I just really love them so much. The way they look, I just love it. Is it nap time? Are you tired, Rio? You look very nice. You woke up this morning. Oh, I love you. Good night. Oh, good night. Bye. Oh. <laughs> but, oh, he is so tired. Good night. Night, night, darling. Good night. Night, night. Good behind me. Can't even see. So we've just arrived here at Meta HQ. I'm in a very comfy seat. Very nice. I'm going to be sweating on black coffee. I probably want to get one because when you walk and then drink a coffee, it's like overload of sweat. I feel fine. You wait. You're I'm quite fit, I don't sweat. You'll get in the face. That is a fucking lie. You sweat like an absolute beast. You have to have the blood. I'm not sweating now. It's a lie. You always have you always <laughs> That's because you that's because you do work out so much. Your body's like over <laughs> Recharge his camera. I feel so oh. nice. I got showered and dressed. I know I might look shiny, but I feel fantastic. Yeah, you look right. What about me? There's an option for instrument in live as well. 
Yeah. Um, and that would either pop up as a box which they can kind of move around so it doesn't interrupt your life. We are half an hour early and I hate being early. So we're going to a TikTok event party tonight and we're half an hour early and France is like, let's arrive bang on time. I'm like, who the arrives bang on time? The reason I'm talking about ba arriving bang on time is because I don't want to be out until 11 p.m. or like, well, it was midnight at the time I got back last time and I've got to wake up at six tomorrow, I'm sure. So that's my idea behind it. So, and then what do we talk about? Parents. I just don't want to be. I parents. don't. I just don't want to be your parents. So basically, they're amazing every way. But they're when like you say, when you say to them, "Can you please arrive at two o'clock?" They're there at one thirty, and that really isn't cool. And when you say to Stuart's family, "Can you arrive at two p.m.?" They 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 don't give you a time when they're coming, and they arrive the next day, <laughs> or they arrive at eight. No, they're like right at four. <laughs> but I'd like, a, I'd like to, so if something starts at 6.30, you arrive at 6.45, you never arrive bang on 6.30. Yeah, you can do that. I'm, I don't, okay, I don't great. He's got bubble tea, that looks nice. Oh, bubble tea. Where does he get that bubble tea from? <laughs> Obviously, Excuse we walk. Excuse me, where walk, does he get your bubble tea from? Uh, we've got this new obsession with bubble tea. Where does it come from? Because we, we were kind of late to the party, we, we've not had bubble tea much. Bubble tea is so delicious, we absolutely love it, so yeah. hopefully it's down here we can get a bubble tea before we go in. Oh, that'd be lovely. I just love drinking and chewing on something. Yeah, yeah. We found the bubble tea place. Bubble tea! So excited. We literally saw someone on the street with bubble tea and we're like, we have to come. <laughs> <laughs> and we, it lit, we looked at it and it was like, it just popped the, the little seals. So we were like, it must be closed. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Absolutely. Try food. blisters and I'm trying to like hurry up and I'm like my blisters are bleeding. I'm giving him my socks. Is that a look? Is that a look? Yeah it's a look. Actually it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Back to your shirt. I was thinking about wearing socks today. We are home. We are back home with my mom. She's done ah, such a good job. Smash looking after Rio. Such a here. good job. And I just got home to a delivery and I was like, oh my God, we need to open this oh little baby. Clothes. These, I'm really excited about these. This is all from River Island. Oh, the little headband. Oh, I love the headbands. Look, the head, oh, people are saying yes. be careful with the headband. But Why? I don't know, because... Bad for the head. Yeah, give them a headache. But that is no. gorgeous. That is oh. so nice. Do you like that, Francis? It's just reality is starting to kick into me. Yeah, that it's yeah, like yeah. a girl. It's like, oh my gosh. That is that is so nice. Oh gosh. my god. And then this little cardigan. Oh no. Look at that cardigan. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Oh. oh. I'm living my dream. Yes. Francis was talking today to. Uh, I saw it, and he started and crying. And he just couldn't stop oh, crying. He just god. literally oh. is a nightmare. I'll put oh, all the links yeah, below to what wait. I bought. I can't wait for a girl. I know. Eight. Okay, that's egg. A oh, one egg. We only got one egg. So. That egg we That's it. Good boy. Uh, good boy. Should I help you? One, two, three. One, two, three. So, 
we have just arrived. We have, we are still sleeping, the car is still on. We've just arrived, we're gonna do some fruit picking with Rio, but I wanted to keep him asleep as long as possible. So we've driven somewhere really far to come with my best friend Zoe and we're gonna go and do some fruit picking at this place. I actually don't know what it's called. I just typed in the postcode and have no idea where I am and no idea of what is going on, but baby's still sleeping, so that's all that matters. I'm desperate for a wee as well, <laughs> if you know me. You know, whenever I arrive somewhere, I have to wee straight away. Um, is that too much information? Just, you know, putting it out there. Oh my God, yesterday was so good. I've, just, I've woken up with so much gratitude in my heart today. It's actually just a joke. I feel so grateful to be in this position that I'm in. Like in 2020, I don't really talk much about it, but like my dad died, the, the pandemic hit and it was just so, I was so sad and so like, yeah, just not happy. And when I feel like there were so many things that just happened that was like out of my control that kind of have led to this moment, I suppose, and make, you know, my dad dying make me feel like there was something missing in my life and all those kind of things I don't think would have happened. Maybe we wouldn't have even had Rio at this point because I'd have been like, I don't know, focus on something else. But I suppose everything always happens for a reason is what I'm trying to say. And I know sometimes it can, in the moment, in 2020, it felt so hard and so heavy. But now, in 2023, three years later, just like my life, just honestly so grateful. So grateful to everyone watching this as well. Could literally cry. <laughs> Could literally cry with happiness. So I'm a little bit confused, but I think you basically drive round to each station. Right here, we've got beetroot, carrots, and sunflowers. And then you go into the field and you go and pick beetroots, carrots, and sunflowers. Do you fancy it, Rio? Yes, sunflowers. Should we go and pick some? No? Doesn't fancy it. Doesn't want to do any manual labor. Let's get out, let's do this. Yeah. Look at the carrot. Can you see, I can see one in the water. Let's see if we can find one on the, on the ground though. Going through the sunflowers, sunflowers, sunflowers. It's such a hot day, it's perfect for flower picking. Which one are you gonna get, Zoe? Zoe, our friend's here with us. We're all, oh, there's broccoli down here. Yeah, I know, I spotted that. That might be more. Yeah, that's more um, accessible for us. Do you want some broccoli, Rio? Broccoli, quick! Wow. So we are in now the cherries. We got bored of the vegetables. We were like, this is too hard to pick. Picking a carrot. Picking a carrot is actually really challenging. But anyway, life is just a bowl of cherries. It is. So we're gonna get a, we're gonna get some cherries. Oh, he's so excited, it's so nice. What can you see? What can you see, Rio? A load of cherries. Cherries! You're doing so well. This way, look at this. Yeah, go on, pick it. Put it in your bag. Good boy. You're picking all the cherries. Well done. Your basket's full. Well done, Rio. Should we, go over, should we go over there and find some more? Take your basket. Perfect, let's go over by Zoe. These moments, literally, just, I love them so much. You know, when you're thinking about having children and you're like, especially as a gay man, you're like, I'd love, you know, visualizing all these kind of special moments. These are, some of them right here and now. the whole time to look at me in the car. He's probably had a sort of nap going there, though, did he? Or didn't he? You drove Slept around an hour, yeah. Yeah! Cheers! One, two, three, here she comes! Hi! 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 Give me a kiss, like this. Mwah! Sorry, darling. Kiss? Mwah! 
Kiss the daddy. 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 Oh, she's so tired, Rio. Good night. Good night, mate. Do you want to give her a cuddle? Eyes. Nose. Head. Kiss. Are you gonna kiss her? She's got burps, Rio. Rio. Rio, she's got burps. You do. You burp her. And she put it to bed. Good night. Good night. Say I love you. Oh. Put it down. Good boy. Bye. Oh, let's cover her up. Bye bye. Do you want to put her covers on? Do you want to give her a quick kiss? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. No bye. night, baby. Not just the cutest thing you've ever seen. I just literally. It's so cute. His, his words have just come on so much. I know. It makes me want to cry. I know. You're going to be the best big brother ever. Let's go, baby. Bye bye. 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 My darling, you've got to the end of the video. Well done. Thank you so much for watching all the way right through to the end. It's the first time we've ever done a spend the week with us. I love putting it together and I'd love to hear from you if you enjoyed this content. Comment below. I feel like it was like really like lovely reflection of our week and I feel like maybe we kind of let you into different moments in our life that maybe we wouldn't normally do in a shorter video so let me know if you enjoyed that we are so appreciative that you're here if you haven't yet subscribed please make sure you do we post every single Sunday and we try to do daily shorts as well and we're just just so grateful to have you here supporting us and yeah love you guys so much and we'll see you next week